Oops. Okay. There. Oh, God damn it. So, so is there any um, friendly fire? No. Okay, uh, that's good. Also, what I like about this game is you can carve when monsters are still alive. Uh, okay. And you do get items. Is there a limit to how much you can get off? No. Of them? And once they're down like this, you can carve them again. So you could get infinite items off of a thing so long as you stay alive. Well, it, as far as I can tell, I think the items that you carve when they are alive might be field items, which means I think that they dis they uh, uh, go away when you go back to town. Um. I, I okay. could be wrong about that, but it feels like every time that I have carved an item off of Monster when I was doing, like, testing and stuff, the item did not stick with me. Okay. I think it just completely dissipates after a certain period of time. Or maybe they're, like, the kind that you cash in for, for points uh, in yeah, the mission. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, roundup. that could be it, too. Maybe. Yeah, and of course they, they give you a certain period of time before the yeah, mission clears so you where carve. you can pick things up or carve if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Or, or do gestures with your friends <laughs> yeah. everyone dances and there are gestures I'll, I'll show you when we get back to the den you can't gesture in the field i don't like that what yeah i'll show you so the number uh, to the right of each character's name is their endurance which will increase uh decrease if their hp reaches zero so if you die the endurance goes down uh and if endurance well if endurance reaches zero they can't perform link aid and if your own reaches zero you fail the mission so okay. if an NPC... Oh, so you like you die, you go back to like the base, and then you go run out. Right. But you only have so much that you can do. Yeah, and it's it's different. Like, it varies. It's not a specific pointing system. It's not like, oh, well, you, you know, every time you die, you lose 10 or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's every time you die, you lose a certain number. And you start out with, like, oh, okay. 100, and then maybe you lose 28 one time, and then 48 another. And it's like, so oh, okay. Okay. Jump right in. Now... What do you think oh, okay, so we're being told mm -hmm. stuff by the doctor, Lots sure. Come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer, devourer of mankind, God's, God's given flesh. He's so happy about this. <laughs> I know. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. <laughs> yeah, so... They simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell so he's just sitting here giving us a million words for so those monsters were cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. And he's he's trying to like explain this, but here's the thing, like we don't know. <laughs> okay. Is that part of our job? Finding out? I well your job is killing them and gathering he's got resources. Like a spider for this, web on his little please. belly shirt. A little bit. Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it it is important to know where they come from. Have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system. Okay, that's interesting to know. <laughs> yeah. What are we carving off of them? Uh, shards sometimes. Uh, chips as well. Okay. So they're clusters of specific cells. And each of the cell is a single-celled organism. Huh. So all together, they turn into a colony, and then the colony transforms I mean, into a specific monster. Technically, type. that's true of most life, right? Yeah, yeah. But these just seem to sort of pop up out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> and devour the entirety of mankind, basically. Okay. Defeat such a powerful predator. Um. Well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark. Okay. Precisely. Yeah. There's so, no in yeah. between with these characters. Either you're so, a complete goofus or you're this doctor. The God Ark has oracle cells. That's what the Shawroth thing is. Okay. So in order to to you know. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that our like weird ominous commander has something to do with where the god the oracle cells came from. Maybe. Maybe he was part of because he was a former doctor. Maybe he was part of some lab that did that, and now he just wants to get rid of them. That's my theory so far. Yeah. And in order to kill him, you have to like tear the core out of them because there is a core that kind of determines what's going on with the other side. Okay. And in order to kill the monsters, basically we have to become part of the monster. <laughs> that guy's hair kept clipping through his yeah. scarf. No, there's going to be a little bit of clipping and things like that. Yeah. Uh, everything else looks really good in this yeah, game. Yeah, no, no, though. everything else looks well, fucking amazing. There. Also, yeah. Um. So. Now, I Who believe things have changed, yep. 
So now we can talk there to the There was a person off to I the know. side. Give it a second. So she's like, oh, welcome back. How did the mission go? The God Arc, did it work out all right? It's like, I still haven't got the hang of it, or it was a no-brainer. I'm going to say I got the hang of it. Our, our selection icon was a little wolf head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Well, I guess I don't blame you, but you'd better get used to it as soon as possible. By the way, did Jen tell you the good news? Did you see the pole arms in your weapon loadout? The charge spear, boost hammer, and variant scythe. Nobody in the den have used one in combat yet, which means you're a first guinea pig. The control mechanism on a pole arm are really complex. God arcs are always tough to control on pole arms doubly so. Uh, the test parts we ordered in from the European branch just won't take our artificial CNS. Whatever that is. Yeah, honestly, I was just against just letting, uh, letting you or anyone try them out. It's too dangerous if you ask me. But Dr. Sakaki insisted... Uh, that with your compatibility it would be fine. Theoretically it should be, but we'll still keep close watch. If things go smoothly, you can keep using them. Also, if you need any new parts, you can order them from the terminal. I'll handle the paperwork and get the parts to refit you need from Europe. Uh, leave it to me. So th she's just complaining that European parts are slightly different and don't fit into the models for these. Okay. Which presumably are um, Japanese and, parts. And uh, I guess Europe's also plagued by Yeah, monsters. well, it's just presumably global? the whole fucking world it's just global. is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was so nervous. I was told if I ever panic, I should just pause and rethink my plan, but I didn't get the chance to do that. We're just talking to a guy. <laughs> and if it's really it? starting to look bad, we're supposed to quit mission and come back. <laughs> it's describing using, like, okay. in-game options. sure. I think I'll end up doing that a lot. It sounds kind of scary, but let's do our so best. So he's not going to be very good at this, right? He's yeah. supposed to be the failure boy. So, Who um, that? Some guy. <laughs> Gina. It's a I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Uh, I hear you went on that mission with Lindau. You're really lucky, you know. Nobody here knows how to survive better than Lindau. Stick close to him and you'll stay alive. I'm sure you have questions since you're new here. Uh, what the fuck is an Avatar so card? So, about Avatar cards. Avatar cards are kind of like business cards. It records data like your status and battle stats. Uh, you can see what kind of origami they defeated and how fast they defeated it and the like. Uh, it even has a log of behaviors and who they're close to. And then about emotions. Emotions are a necessity if you want to get along with others and get used to living here. Don't you think communication is important? Like waving hello or nodding to a comment, you know? These actions to show your response to other people's words or behaviors are called emotions. Says gestures. <laughs> yeah, it'll especially become important in multiplayer, so you should be glad to know this now. So yeah, it's you you press uh so you press the uh okay, I'll just show you. Okay. Um so this is how you do uh, emotes in this game. It's literally just press the D-pad. Oh, okay. And you get the different ones. The problem with doing these in the field is that you wouldn't be able to do them in the field because the D-pad turns into your camera in the field. Oh, okay. Uh, and if you hold down L1 and L2, I think it's L1 and, and L2 if I'm not mistaken. It might be L1 and R1. Just do it then. Uh, it, it changes it into more advanced forms of different things. Okay, interesting. So you, you don't just have the normal D-pad, which is four. I think you've got uh, four, six, uh, no, no, four, eight, and then... What's one more? 12, I guess. Okay. And it's, yeah, there it is. <laughs> what the fuck? That's my favorite. Nice. I like that one. That one's really good. All right. Uh, that's just sitting there. This one's somehow kind of waking up. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I did it again. <laughs> and there's just falling over and lamenting. Okay. Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a small child over there. Yep, there's a couple of uh, people who have changed down here, obviously. Lindau is one of them. He's in here now. Mm -hmm. uh, also, our avatar card, we... Oh, I hit X instead of circle. Yep. Uh, we can totally check that. Um, and that'll, you know, give us a good idea of what this actually looks like. It's the character with their weapon, and then it'll tell you their code name, their real name. Let's set a message. Uh, our label. <laughs> we can set a message, uh, because, well, because it's, you know, a game like this, it, it uses the, uh, the thing. And I kind of don't want to do that right now. Alright, alright. Um, got statuses. And, you know, everything else is just in here. We can organize stuff. We've got the options, the game options, stuff like that. Uh, so when I grow up, I'm going to be just like the shopkeeper and make piles of money. And sit on the floor. Then I'll apparently. be able to make mom's life easier. Oh, Aww, I can't wait. Well, that's sweet. Uh, are you the rookie? This is a cleaner. There are a lot of grumblers here, but it's thanks to you that we can survive. We're all very grateful, you know, so hold your head up high and keep your chin up. Like, she's not really even that much of a granny. She's kind of just a... She's yeah, but she's a, a janitor. Bit mature. That's all. Yeah, but yeah. There's always got to be one, at yep. least. Yep, Probably, yep. Hopefully more. I don't think she should have to clean this whole place herself. 
I made it back alive again, Habari, so how about a date? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, are you the rookie everyone's talking about? I'll show you the ropes. You might not know this, but when you accept a mission, file it with Habari here. Afterwards, your tab will be tallied up and paid. You can check these things from the terminal up on the stairs. Well, that's it. <laughs> Don't wear yourself out. Yeah, that's okay. it doesn't help anyone. Uh, Subaki is letting us know, you know, what's up. And we can get advice on missions, we can do teamwork strategies, and how to use weapons and shields. Uh, I didn't actually show you guys, now that I think about it, how to, to do the shield thing. Hmm. Uh, the tutorial kind of glanced over it. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I, actually, maybe the tutorial that they gave us didn't have anything in it, now that huh, I think about it. that's I don't weird. Know. Maybe there's more tutorials with the next things we I, get. I know there's at least one more, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get to know you better today, or I'd like to, but as usual, we'll talk about work. In today's missions, you'll be with Long Range Specialist God Eater Sakuya Tachibana. Okay. Uh, when you're ready, go to Hibari and accept the mission I ordered. You got that? Sakuya and I are old friends, but she's okay, so Frenemies. don't be scared of her. Oh, does it say frenemies? Frenemies, Ew, look. gross. I'm counting on you. It's just, I hate it's that it's word. A rival. You have an additional joint mission with Sakuya. Sakuya, she's gorgeous. Is she now. the jiggly lady? She's the jiggly lady. Okay. Uh, that is going to be, I believe it's Fallen Angel Egg, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I, I forgot to point it out, but these do have things where they tell you. There's mm -hmm. a little description down there. Uh, like, one ogre tail confirmed an old city. Eliminate as soon as possible. Research identifies the outer skin of ogre tails to be vulnerable to piercing attacks. Mission time is 30 minutes. Good luck. This one is one floating zygote identified in the old that city. That sounds gross. Yeah, rush to the scene and control the situation. Anti-air piercing shots are most effective. Uh, mission time is 30 minutes. And then the one with uh, Tachibana is going to be this one. Which is, we've got two cocoon maidens in the grasslands. That sounds like a creepy thing. And we need you to get rid of them. These guys don't move, but they're tough. Uh, both close up and long range, you got 30 minutes. So you can use uh, the second button to select mission members if you want. So like, where you see that it's it's us mm -hmm. and Sakuya. Yeah, it's if, locked. Yeah, these are locked, but otherwise you'd be able to go mm -hmm. in and, and slip extra people in it. And they do give you a yeah. ton of people. Or if you were start. doing it through multiplayer, you could just... Set it up with people. Yeah, you also have the option of changing the background music if you have the other background music. For this one in particular, I don't think that they let you because they want it to be locked down as like a story mission. Yeah, also it doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, it, it really doesn't to be honest. Um, so yeah, like I said, it, and it, it shows the description up in the top right again. Okay. So let's see the grasslands. Yep. Because everything's wrecked to shit in this world. So yeah, Even the yep. grasslands are wrecked to shit. I only see a very small amount of grass. Oh, yeah, no. It, these may have been grasslands at some point, but they very much are not anymore. No, it looks like it was a storm. parking garage originally. Right? Oh, yeah. you're the new recruit, aren't you? Okay. I'm Sakuya. Sakuya Tachibana. Yeah, Great so now we get to meet you. this girl again. This is the you worst the outfit, nervous, lady. You know, right? <laughs> like, I mean... It's... We don't want you freezing up out there. You're you're gonna you're gonna get scratched up by everything. I'm not sure how way that... too much exposure. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure how that shirt actually stays on or or in the proper. Um, it looks shape. like it's belted down at the bottom maybe, and maybe, then the maybe, ribbon maybe. at the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Is she gonna run with no bra on? Uh, she's a sniper, so she doesn't have to do much while running. Yeah, but snipers roll. That sounds like it would be unpleasant for anyone, but she's got, like, so many parts of her body that shouldn't be scraped along the ground. Yeah, I mean... She wearing it, heels? God damn. Yeah, I think she does wear heels as well. And she's got that weird wraparound for, like, a bikini going on. Yeah, this is ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. Sakuya, are you two prepared? No I hope they give us the option to wear her Let's get in there. Uh, on our dudes. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I don't think they do, even if you're, like, a female character. I'm pretty sure they don't give you the option to wear that They outfit. gave us an entire set of options for character creation for someone named Lenka. Yeah. So why not give us, <laughs> like, or whatever? Yeah. why not just give us, like, all of the, the NPC clothes so I that we can dress know. our guy like that? Okay, so here's the thing, right? So you've got... That's the enemy out there. It's kind of and, ominous looking. Yeah, it lets us know ahead of time because these are long range enemies. So hmm, if, okay. if we're over here and we get their attention, it'll start hitting us from over here because they're gun type enemies, basically. Okay. Uh, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. There we go. So we're going to hit them from a distance and see if we can kill it. I don't think I can kill it, but I can get damn right. close and then she can kill it. Is this 
this your first time okay. fighting a cocoon maiden? They're a little scary. I'll yeah, let's, so, yeah, let's get a look at it. Let me see the maiden. other side of it. But if they catch a beat on you, okay. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this real fast. Uh, and then I'm gonna walk over to this one so that you can see what they look like when they're they're up close. Yeah, I need to know. Yeah, because these these have a very specific look about them. So they kind of spin around slow like this, but you see okay. they've got like little human yeah, faces. Yeah, they got like a doll head. And yeah, they they are basically cocoons. And if you get in close, they they have that weird spiky thing that they do. Hmm. Uh, and as cocoons. They, um, they're very hard on the outside. They're gonna metapod you super bad. Hmm. Like, it ain't so good. <laughs> These things are really weird, and this is where, like, you're starting to see some of the very strange non-beast enemies just hanging around. It's, uh... Yeah, I didn't expect a Some of these weird designs are a little creature, weird. Yeah. But, like... Variety's good. Yeah, no, there's a lot of variety too. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, I, I don't like them as much as Monster Hunter monsters, but some but of the monsters in this game are, yeah. are interesting. The, there's yeah. less variety in Monster Hunter monsters by virtue of them all mo more or less being animals. Yeah, well, they, they have classifications and yeah, families like they're that they wildlife, fit into and they look and really like good. Yeah. And if if that cocoon maiden showed up in Monster Hunter, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but we've got no too. real standard set for us, except that they're like these weird organic clusters of evil. Pretty much. That's they're, all we know. So why like would the they be restricted from by shape? The thing a little bit. <laughs> they can be anything. Uh, so yeah, the number of the right of each character's name is. Oh wait, this is just an yeah. again. Yeah, it's just okay. showing us the same hint. A little bit. <laughs> you, you probably just need to turn that off. I don't even know if I can turn that off, and it only does it for like the first uh, couple of times that you do it. Okay. Too. So it'll turn itself off in a second here. All right. So we'll overwrite the data. Da, 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 da. So now Who everybody's that? changed again. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> ah, Carl. speak of the devil, my young new type. Is it true that you have special powers? Outwardly, um, you look like know. any other brat. Oh, well, good luck earning Do your Do we keep. have special powers? <laughs> Well, we can use some of the things that other people can. I like that he has on. one shirt sleeve rolled up to help emphasize his God Eater bracelet. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really interesting. And this kid continues to be a failure when we're not looking, I guess. Yeah, damn them treating me like a kid. Then stop I acting like I bet those like two one. over there are the type who bully rookies. Did you find out? I hate to go on a mission with those guys. Is he just sort of staring at people and being like, the, but they're <laughs> cool kids? Evading the enemy is a rat's job, you know, but a man's value is based on his kills and rewards. Whoops, that was rude of me. <laughs> After all, you're one of Lindau's protégés. I beg your pardon. What's that thing he was holding? Did you notice uh, he's got like a thing in his arm? Yeah, like, oh, no, no, that's that's a belt. It's coming is, around the back oh, of his... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it just looks just like he's holding like a hand. baton or something. Uh, here's the janitor from the side now. Yeah, uh, there's so, her hey, back, did you hear? I guess. The toilet got stopped up and things were really hectic. No, I didn't hear that. Well, get this. It was all Eric's doing. Oh, we need to know who Eric is. He may is be so some big wigs kid, this. but how could he not know how to use a toilet, really? Oh, so we've got some sort of weirdo in here. Yeah, you can see your face a little bit better if you, yeah. you don't do the back. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I heard that. This is why little princes like him are a pain in the neck. He needs to know what it's like to be the one cleaning up. Yeah, after I him. need to know who Eric is so I can make fun of him. I guess. Uh, that's Tatsumi. He's probably still just hitting that's on the, the girl. Keeper. Yeah, there's no one here. Okay. Uh, it's Koda. Maybe are one of these Eric? No, that's Carol and whoever the hell. We else. can go to other parts of the the base, right? Just go uh, through that side elevator. Yeah, we can. Maybe we'll if, find Eric. If we go Eric. in, we can go into the rookie section, which has you know people in it. Okay. A uh, no one here. No one there. That's Coda's room, by the way. Okay. So I guess we do get our own room, which is kind yeah. of weird. Yeah, and there's only, know. like, six rooms. Yeah, Sakuya, yeah, Soma, and uh, Lindo are, oh. are the three people. Oh, what from, are you yeah. two doing together? They're frenemies. <laughs>